This is going to be my take on the red onion in fresh and salt water. So here I have a slide. I want to set that to the side and I'm going to pick up a red onion. Now there are two layers that you can peel off of this. The first layer that I'm going to show you is the wrong layer. It's the inside one. It peels off super easy and it has no purple in it. You do not want that. The layer you want, and you're going to listen here, that sounds like tape getting peeled, and it should have purple on it. I'm going to place that on my slide, and there is an extra chunk there that's going to pose a problem. So I add some fresh water first, just a dab with my finger, and as I add my cover slip, it does not sit flat. It actually is raised off of there, and you do not want that. Smushing it is not going to help, so I need to cut off that extra little white piece that's there. There we got it. And now my slide is laying flat. So now I will place it under my microscope, under low power, stage all the way up, power on, and center my slide. I will turn on my microscope and there it is. Now as we look at this slide, we can see the cell wall, which is the dark outer layer. The purple section is going to be our cytoplasm, and inside there you can actually see little circles, um, and those circles are the nuclei that are inside that cell. So now I'm going to make up some salt water, and this is the technique we use to remove that water I added on earlier. You put the salt on the right side, and then I place a paper towel on the left side, and it's going to draw that salt water through. And as you see, this is sped up. It does dramatic changes to the cells, and you can see that that salt water draws the water out of these cells, uh, and you can see them shrink down. The cell wall remains the same size, but the inside shrinks down, and we do call that plasmolysis. And that is a shriveled up onion cell in salt water. Now I'm going to remove the salt water with the same technique, but this time adding fresh water. And we should see these cells swell back up, back to their original size. And you can do this back and forth over and over where you make them shrink and then fill them back up. Um, and that is just osmosis working inside these cells. So I hope that made sense to you guys and uh, you enjoyed looking at that. Thank you.